Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is my deck collection. Okay, so this is my deck collection, and of course my deck collection is way too large uh, to look at in one video. If I did one video, it would be like 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, who knows, we'd be here all day. So it's better to break these down into little groups uh, so that you can just spend more time with the cards because that's what it's all about. It's all about the cards. So today we're gonna look at the Daniel Madison collection. Of course, I have more Daniel Madison cards than these, but I'll show those to you in a different video. These are just the ones that are in the collection, in the box that are set aside as, ooh, Daniel Madison. Okay, we'll start off with the Lion's Den Casino and Lounge. Uh, you might remember that Daniel put this out as just a, hey, I've always wanted to have my own casino. And so he came up with this deck. And so it's an all black tuck case. And like all Madison's cards, all of his decks, uh, they're all very simple designs, very simple tuck cases. So yeah, Lion's Den Casino and Lounge. All right, so in that same vein of standalone decks, there was the SWE deck, which was an homage to the SW Erdnay's book, The Expert at the Card Table, and the deck was made to look uh, like that and be a companion to the book. And there's been several Erdnay's decks, several Expert at the Card Table decks, uh, but this is the one that Illusionist released. Then we also have the Madison Players. Now this is not an Illusionist deck, this is a Theory 11 deck. Originally, uh, Daniel Madison used to be one of the founding members of Theory 11. He was one of the 11. And so this was his signature deck that he released at that time. It was a marked deck, and uh, we had really nice soft stock. And uh, I think it's still a collectible uh, for some people who would like to have all the different Madison decks. All right, then we have two very creative decks. These are the Hustlers. Um, it came in purple and orange, okay? And the back design was his logo, but really exploded really large. Uh, these were really cool. I like these a lot. Um, this is probably one of his thinnest stocks of decks. Uh, of all his decks, this was one of the thinnest stocks I found. And I really like this deck. This deck got a lot of criticism from people for coloring and for the uh, like weird back design, but I really liked it. Um, this was probably easily one of my favorites of his, so yeah. Hustlers. All right, so Daniel Madison also has rounders, okay? And so he has the black rounders that has the black design with his logo in white. Uh, I have the brown rounders that's, of course, like a tobacco color. And then there's the white rounders, uh, but they're <laughs> a black tuck case, but they are white on the inside, trust me. Uh, there is a blue color. Uh, is there another color? I can't even remember. Like, comment below if I forgot a color. I think there's blue. Uh, well, I know there's blue. And then, is there more than that? I mean, I know, I just didn't get blue. Uh, but yeah, those are the rounders. Of course, there are also the Daniel Madison dealers, okay? Now, the dealers came out uh, two different ways. There was a full bleed back that was more like a casino deck, and those were the greens, okay? And then there was a bordered back design, okay? And the bordered back design uh, came in red and black. And I have my black steel sealed up because they were, they were collectible at the time. I don't know how rare they are to find now. So these both have borders in the red and the black and the green were borderless. And of course, Daniel Madison's latest release are the King's decks. Uh, originally, uh, they came in the gold foiled box. Uh, I left this one sealed up. I have a couple more of these. I found that this tuck case gets dinged up really quickly and the foil etching starts coming off and you see all this white scratch marks on it. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty tuck case, but it's not practical for just carrying around your pocket. Probably if you like this deck, you'll want to get a, a deck protector. Then of course you have the Blood Kings, which are you know all red, and then the Black Kings as well. And they are a part of a deck series that Daniel released with Peter McKinnon. All right, so that was my Daniel Madison collection, 14 decks in all, 14 Daniel Madison decks. And of course, if you'd like to find more content at any time, you can always head on down to magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.